Yeah, it was pretty obvious shit, dude. Like, if you need somebody with dementia to give you this advice, you know. I'm back with another drunk reaction. And today I'm drinking fireballs I offer them. Just to clear up a point from the previous episode, uh, the way this works when you get older, like, you know, you, you know how when you're talking to an old person and they can't remember something, they can't remember a person's name, or they can't remember a TV show or a movie or, you know, whatever they're talking about. Um, they will, like, sit there and be like, oh, my God, I can't remember this, and then the conversation moves on. And then what happens is two hours after you leave, they finally fucking remember what it is. Now, a really annoying old person will actually call you and tell you, but you don't give a shit, right? Like, you literally don't care. It may You may have cared just a little bit two hours ago when you were actually having a fucking conversation. You sure as fuck don't care now. I'm about to do the same shit. But see, what happens there is that, you know, you make the request in your brain. Your brain says, hey, uh, tell me who this actor was I'm trying to think of. And your brain says, okay, we'll get right on it. And the brain hangs up, and the brain starts searching through all the files. And, like, if when you're old, there's, like, a huge number of fucking files. It's like that fucking room where the uh, the Ark of the Covenant is in the Indiana Jones movie. It's like, there's a huge fucking warehouse. There's all these fucking files, and they're running around, opening up boxes, trying to find the right file. And finally, it takes them longer. When you're a kid, there's not as much shit in that room because you haven't accumulated enough memories and enough information yet, and the person looking for the memory in that warehouse, and according to this metaphor, is younger, and he's faster, and he's like, he's splurting around, he's really fast, and he can come up with the information immediately. When you get older, it takes longer to go through, uh, it, the person's slower, who's looking for the memory, and the warehouse is bigger, and there's more shit in the warehouse, so it takes longer. But, they do find it, and they bring it back, and they call you back up, and they tell you what this information is. That's what happened to me. Julia is the name of that blonde uh, woman from uh, the Ozark. It took me wherever like that was in the last episode's reaction, and then add 15 minutes for the break where I saved this file and you know freshen up my drink and shit to this point. So we're probably talking about a half hour. It took my brain a half hour to come up with that information. The whole time, he was running around this fucking warehouse in my brain trying to find this information. So so it's not that they forget, technically. It's, it just takes longer to remember. The older you get, the longer it takes to remember a piece of information. That's why it comes to you later. Your brain, that entire fucking time, however long it's been, that entire time your brain has been searching for that information. You know, like, put it in computer terms, the little spinning wheel of death in the Apple thing, like, it's just fucking spinning, spinning, trying to find the shit. So that's just what happens. You just got to go with it. Like, you know, so it's not that you forget. It just it takes you longer to remember. You know, that, if that makes you feel better <laughs> as an old person. <laughs> Let's get into this shit. None of that had anything to do with Sopranos, but here we are. You know, episode three, denial, anger, and acceptance. So no cold opening in this episode. This shit. What is interesting about it, the last episode was 50 minutes long. This one's only 45 minutes long. That difference in time is, would have been the cold opening. Gotta say, man, this opening song is pretty fucking jamming. I can't play it or I'll get the shit blocked even worse than it usually gets blocked. But that's a pretty jumping song. It's a gift from Tony Soprano. <laughs> Why are you dropping Tony's name, motherfucker? Keep Tony's name out your fucking mouth. What they should have done is just left the shit out there and they would eventually find it, right? Now these motherfuckers know what you look like. We're not making a western here. <laughs> well, that's a good thing because westerns have kind of died out. You ever notice that? Like they, they, they used to be so fucking popular, man. It's just... Pff, gone. Mr. Soprano? How you doing? I will say this, because I was in therapy for a couple of years. Yeah, I don't remember exactly how long it was. It was a couple of years. Dealing with you know, abusive childhood, anger issues and shit, you know. Um, they was, we were on a first-name basis, me and my therapist. Very quick, I think from the first session, we were on a first-name basis. It's interesting that she calls him Mr. Soprano. Like, that, that actually creates distance. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong, and I'm not saying that writing the therapist is wrong. I'm just finding it interesting. She she does that to create distance. I wonder why she would do that. I'm reserving judgment. Like maybe they just the writers just didn't know that, right? But like, 
It says, hey, asshole, we're from Harvard. <laughs> what do you think of this spooky, depressing barn and this rotted-out tree we put here? That shit wasn't depressing. I thought it was actually cool. It's depressing and scary. Yeah. To like, not to me. This is like an ink blot, man. But it's got that built right in there. No, it doesn't, man. I didn't see no depression. I'm prone to depression. I didn't see no depression. What's up, motherfucker? By the way, this actor is one of the few actors from the show I recognize beyond, obviously, James Gandolfini. You know? The others, I'm sure, they've been around. I just don't recognize them. Jerry, hon, you want me to bring anything back? Yeah, play the brujol. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is. I no, 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 heard enough. Look, I'm getting kind of tired here. Hey guys, come on, let's go get a cup of coffee. Come on. See you later, Jerry. Right. Thank you. Bye. That's one good thing about being either old or sick. You get an instant excuse to get annoying motherfuckers the fuck out of your presence. Yo, you don't. You just say I'm old or I'm sick, and that's all you gotta say. And they gotta fuck off. They they don't have any choice. They have to. They'll be the time president before I see any insurance. Oh shit! What are you talking about? I thought all that was settled. Stupid. Insane. Oh, that guilt is fucking with him, man. What would you do if your daughter was abused by her husband? Be this fucking ass, man. Yeah. Talk to him. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. Polly thinks like I do, man. Make me out. What's your fucking problem now? For doing something on the disc. You're humbling, dude. Isn't it Zugendu? It's a gay in the hand. And the critic. Yeah, save your criticism, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please, we get 25. I don't understand. That's because I'm not talking to you. Yeah, that's right. Do I have to shut the coil on here? Creating a golem must do work. That's actually an interesting concept. That's kind of kind of what he's doing, actually. You know, in a way, if you think about it. Give me what I want. You have a deal. It's done. Tell your little minion to shut the fuck up. I'm a big believer in that United Front shit. That's why you have a pre-meeting. You have a pre-meeting with your employees, your associates, your minions, your family, whatever the fuck they are, so that when you meet with the outsiders, you all have a United Front. That's very big. That's very important. Right? We want to talk to you about your father-in-law. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, he's not. He said yeah, we, we want to talk to you about him, it. We didn't uh, say we want to talk to him. To talk Open to your you ears, motherfucker. Slomo is a friend of mine, and you're bragging this. Oh, that, so now you're gonna be disrespectful, huh? <laughs> listen, listen, beat his ass. You couldn't possibly. Fuck that. This is how I say nothing. <laughs> really, with the bell? <laughs> that doesn't seem like a very efficient weapon, man. What are you gonna do? Create a tiny bruise on his head, like? Get a phone book. Back then they had phone books, man. That shit was fucking hurt, boy. And can you keep the decibel level down, please? Yeah, well, I, For my husband. I know I'm old, but I just don't understand why it's necessary to blast your music like that and talk on the phone and study. Like, that's some major fucking multitask here, man. That's like doing this shit while you're watching TV and, you know, talk, you know, chatting with somebody, texting with somebody. You know, I guess nothing. Some things haven't changed. Just the details. Una! There is fingerprints all over the brake. That front. was a weird edit. I want this place to spark. That was very fucking weird. Uh, when I edit, I'm going to replay that for you guys to look at. That was fucking weird, man. Like, it's just, there's certain editing rules, and there's just certain things you don't do, man. That was just, that was a very inter- interesting choice, you know? I can explain it, but it would take like 20 minutes to explain why that's weird, and, you know, you guys would be bored out of your mind, so I won't do it. But, like, Leave a comment if you want me to elaborate. Fine. Just thought I'd ask you before we went down to Jefferson. <laughs> Those Moulinians will rob you, rape you, and leave you on the side of the Damn. road. That doesn't sound like a good business practice. I don't know practice. what you've seen. Season approaches. The chips will alter their eating habits. Are you watching that nature shit again? Everybody on fucking every TV show ever watches nature programs. Have you ever noticed that? It's like, Jesus God, man. It's, there's probably like 3% of the people in the entire fucking world actually watch that shit. Or PBS would have better ratings than fucking the network TV. Come on, man. Let me just I'm check talking. his... <laughs> the hell is going on here? What kind of porn did I just walk into? This damn IV. Damn. I got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I seem to be having a problem. Oh, I'm not all. <laughs> uh, Tony, is Tony gonna watch this shit? Like, what is happening, man? <laughs> nice. <laughs> you can give this motherfucker a heart attack, man. This is good shit, though. I see you. I, I return to my question. Is Tony gonna watch this shit? Thank you. Leave, Tony. Jesus. 
I'd have to know more about his condition. I told you about his condition. He's got cancer. What kind of cancer? She said no more. She didn't say no the ba the basic shit about his condition. It was the tree in the painting, right it out, you said? There's nothing in that picture to indicate that. The fucking painting. I knew that was a fucking scam. <laughs> I knew that painting was a fucking scam. Yeah, they're scamming me at the picture, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Trees, ducks, what the fuck are you, Ranger Rick? Boy, that's a really old reference. Drink, Scott. You think everybody's that's just from the 50s you, or 60s, right? On that. Pediatric hospital board. Right. Now, are you sure we ordered enough champagne? Right. Yeah, what the fuck you doing, dude? Yeah, Gene says they shouldn't be too sober for the I'd be up there with my show. fucking baseball if bat, boy. ever finds out you got this from me. Yes! Look at me. This is no joke. In there with her fucking, with her daughter. Well, it sounds like 16, I imagine. I gotta go Hunter. They may have, like, given hey, us a contact clue, but, like, I don't remember. Just this. Hi, doesn't anyone ever know? Yeah. Look, tell Brendan the Hunter would rather die than go out with him. Brendan? Christopher, you keep that ass alone. <laughs> hey, the guy asked me to do him a favor. I did it. That's it. All right, you delivered the message. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. Well, as I say, was a, uh, um, like, he waited till like, the day after. She could have already been down there. So I guess he was counting the fact she was bluffing about going down there, you know? The pain job, and not some cruise. And why do you always this have to This wife exaggerate? is going to be the death of a mess. You're this not cleaning good. his toy. Barely had a bite. You are not going to miss those little beautiful rabbits. Charmaine. 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 Okay, now they've done this a second time. That now, okay, now I'm starting to understand why they may have done the edit the first time. Ready. Don't you forget about the past. Look to the future, okay? I am sick of hearing about your fucking restaurant. Shut up about it, you depressing fucking jerk. What the fuck do you know about Jesus. Wow. This escalated quickly. <laughs> really? Is this what we're doing? I'm coming down. Yeah, I'll be uh, 20, Shit. maybe 15 minutes. It depends. I gotta go. Really, dude? <laughs> What's that paper? <laughs> this shit is fuck with it, man. It's a bright sunny you know, day. It just reminds me of David Hockey. <laughs> <laughs> He's seeing decay everywhere, man. That's not good. No, you're a stupid motherfucker. <laughs> you know I've heard it said. I've heard well, it said. That's it? hilarious. Restitution is made. You really would let me kill you, wouldn't you? You sick, <laughs> you sick fuck. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> hey, my reli Two religion runs deep, man. 900 Jews held their own against 15,000 Roman soldiers. Jews weren't fucking around, man. They chose death before enslavement. Jews said, eat a dick, bitches. The Romans? Where were they now? Yeah, they're gone. You're looking at them, asshole. Oh, yeah, that's right, actually. Interesting. It does come back to that, doesn't it? That's kind of interesting. Here's a thought. Maybe he's willing to go to the world to come, but uh, if he's stuck here on this earth, I know one thing that no man wants to go through life with. Cut his hair off? What? They'll threaten to cut oh. his hair off. Yeah. Paulie, get the ball cutters from out of the trunk. <laughs> yeah, they want to think they're going to cut his dick off. They're going to cut his hair off. That shit it has a religious significance to him, huh? I know it may not seem like it right now, but you guys will get back on your feet again. You'll see. Camilla, I'm fine where sure, I am. Sure, you're fine. It wasn't your restaurant getting burned down. Not because of you. I'm scared. I'm threatened with castration. So they really did threaten the castration instead of the hair. Interesting. <laughs> Don't make you beat your ass. I created a living golem. What the fuck is a golem? <laughs> it's a monster. Watch Supernatural time sometime, motherfucker. The They'll explain it. Maybe I should take my temperature with the other machine. Anyway, Ooh, 217, that don't seem right. Well, Tony always loved Christopher like a son. Tony needs to do and less so of that. Do I, he put up my storm windows for me one year. That was nice of him. Does that really justify reprieving him from death? Maybe Christopher could use a little talking to. You know. The other one? Filoni? Yeah, he's the one you do, because that dude's a fucking idiot. Do him. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a blessing to me. <laughs> you 
You got a lot of sense for an old guy. Yeah, it was pretty obvious you shit, know, dude. Like, if you need somebody with dementia you know, to give you this advice, idiot. you know. That's why my son put me in a nursing home. I mean, you're spitting facts right now, baby. Like he's already oh, gone. did did his life threatening fucking disease? Does that make you feel bad? Yeah, because everything's about you. Generally speaking, I'm on Tony's side, but dude, like the motherfucker is dying from cancer. He's allowed to have that take precedence in his fucking mind. You arrogant, selfish, narcissistic asshole. Oh shit! Listen, your friends are Tony's go mob, right? Listen, Meadow wanted the crystal. If I didn't get it, it was you the one that Jefferson Avenue. He thinks it's about that shit. I don't want to die. I didn't mean it. I am sorry. It's pretty fucked up when you've done so much shitty stuff. Listen to me, you speak English. Don't shoot me. That you don't even know why somebody's trying to kill you. <laughs> this is a talking to, you know, a talking to. Yeah, get out of the drug dealing to teenagers business, dude. Like you ain't, you ain't built for this shit. When actors are lip syncing, they tend to overemphasize. Yeah, and that's what I'm seeing here. Like they, they're not really doing a good job of this. This motherfucker, he's the one getting whacked. There's no empty chamber in this one. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. Yes! Fuck this motherfucker! First good death in the series. God, that dude is annoyed. Work out some more, bitch. I thought the idea of having minions is you get plausible deniability. You're not actually fucking there when they carry out the work, man. The hell's the point of that? Okay, I'm calling this shit. Before the end of this season, Uncle Tony, whoosh, like, that's just, that, this shit's in the mail, man. And what's interesting about this is, um, whenever you have a mob story, you're always going to have the fucking police investigation shit come into it at some point. So what's interesting about this is I think season one is going to be Tony Soprano consolidating his power. You know, he, by the end of this season, Uncle uh, whatever, or Uncle Frank, whatever his name is, whoosh, he's done. Tony will be the supreme leader. Uh, cancer boy may or may not die. He might recover. That would be interesting if he did. But he may or may not die. But Uncle Frank is gone. And Tony Soprano is going to be the undisputed. So that's season one. Season two is when you start dealing with the, the fucking cops and shit. And so season two, I suspect, will be about that. After that, who the fuck knows? You know what I'm saying? So, uh... But that's, we'll get more into this at the end of the season. But yeah, I think for now, I think that's going to be their plan for the series. So it'll be interesting to see if I'm right. I'm very curious to see if I'm right.